Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back on the bomber. Today we're going to do some much needed upgrades. We've got the uh, motor plate AX31156. This is the motor and motor mounting plate for the bomber and the Yeti. We're also going to put in the Yeti electronics. We've got the uh, Vanguard 3150 motor and the ESC from Castle. After we get this set up, we'll plug it in and set all the parameters, reset the firmware, all that fun stuff. Stick around, I'll show you what's going on. The transmission's held in with six screws on this one. So you've got the two here that hold on the uh, transfer case and these hold on the main transmission. And these two just connect the uh, receiver box to the chassis. It's not really important at this point. Now, while I've got the transmission out, I am going to put the uh, Fast Eddy transmission bearings in. And of course, want to swap out the engine plate and all of that stuff. Now this actually will go back on there because all of the uh, hardware is there to put this back on the end. Okay, let's get started. All right, because I like to keep my stuff separated, we're gonna start off with the transfer case. We'll do the transmission next. Now this is all the bearings that came in the kit. That seems like a lot of dang bearings, doesn't it? Anyway, this is a complete kit. This does the uh, transmissions, the axles, everything that uses a bearing on the bomber. But we're gonna start with the transfer case and I'll pull that last screw out and we'll check on the bearings in that. And uh, there we go. That's just a little bit of nastiness in there, not bad. We'll uh, pull all the bearings out and get new ones in there. And they don't feel bad, so I'm not going to throw these out just in case I need one later on. But we'll get that done. We'll get some fresh grease in there, and then we'll move on. All right, after we got all those bearings out of there, we can just put fresh ones back in it. Of course, make sure that you get the right bearings in the holes. I don't think that there's a lot of different sizes on this particular model, but just in case. Like that. Ah, there we go. It goes back in there like that. That bearing feels pretty good. And we'll grease it when we get everything put back together. Now make sure you don't lose that E-clip because that E-clip actually holds the bearing down in the base, which is actually the nose here. So make sure you don't lose that. All right, that's all the bearings in the cases replaced. Now this one bearing on the end here that goes into this tail shaft, 
put that on the shaft because that's about the only way that you're going to be able to get that monkey down in there where you need it. Once you got it in place, you squeeze, thin it a little bit, and that bearing should stay in there. Like that. All right, on to the transmission. The transmission is held together by the four screws. You've got one there, one there, one there, and one down here on the bottom. There's a small screw here on the side. Don't forget to make sure that's back in there. Okay, when you're doing this, make sure that you're using good tools because if you spin the head out on one of these screws down inside these holes, you are gonna be really, really cussing yourself because it's a pain in the neck to get it out of there. I've done it, and I did. <laughs> so just make sure you use a good tool. Fresh bit would be nice, probably be best, especially on these really deep well screws. Because good tools are, it's hard to, it's hard to uh, replace a good tool. All right, let's see what kind of condition the transmission is in. Actually, it looks pretty good in there. I did think about putting a uh, two-speed transmission in this because I have the kit, but I just don't see myself doing that. I don't think it's really a necessary item. It's kind of a frivolous deal. All right, let's get the bearings out and get them switched. All right, while you're doing this, you may find this little thing here has fallen out of your transmission. That is the porthole block. It goes right in there because the two trans the two speed transmission shifter linkage goes through there. Not using it, so make sure you put the plug back in there. All right, a little white lithium grease on the gears, and then we'll put it back together. And when I do this, I always put the bearings back on the shafts. It just makes it easier when you're lining everything up because the bearings will slide in place, lines everything back up where it should be. All right, let's get the screws back in it and start putting everything back together. All right, when you're putting these back together, my suggestion is to do it in a cross pattern, kind of like tightening the lug nuts on your car. Do one down so far, then you go to the other side, spin that one down about even with that. Then you go to the bottom. and then the top. That should give you equal pressure all the way around, keep from warping the uh, transmission case, that kind of thing. And you just repeat that until you've got everything snug down where you want it. All right, next all we gotta do is join the transfer case to the transmission on this side of it, and the bearings are all done. Put just a little bit of grease on that because there isn't really anything other than that gear in there for that to lock into. All right, like that. And then make sure it's made it all the way through. And then you put the last two screws in the case. All right, these are all the things that come with it. You get the uh, main that goes on like that. And it actually snaps in place. You have your motor plate, your motor mounting screws. They go through like that. And these two are the tensioner screws that hold the bracket in place. 
This thing is so nice, it's really a shame to try to cover it up with all with the uh, spur geared cover, but, well, so be it. I'd rather not catch my finger in there and rip it off. This is more a performance thing than it is a looks thing. So that's what we're gonna end up with. Okay, let's get the parts on. All right, with your screws that you retained from the other one, we're gonna put the two bottom one ends first. All right, then we're going to take our uh, spur gear cover. Uh, like I said, it's just a shame to have to cover that up, but I don't really want to get rocks in my uh, spur gear either. And your remaining two screws go in up here underneath where the spur gear goes in. All right, with the spur gear cover base on, you can see how well everything lines up. I said it is a shame to cover all that up, but go ahead and put the uh, spur gear back on. Come on. You know you want to. Like that. And that and that. Like that and then of course the uh, spring in the nut all right the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, motor plate put that on there line it up just a spot of loctite on the screw I would suggest you make sure that these screws are pretty tight, even with the Loctite, just because of the vibration and the speed. And if one of them comes off, you could really mess something up. And of course, you want to line up your spur and pinion, make sure they are both set at the right level. Like that. You just rotate it until you get the right spot. About like that. That piece slides in there like that. And then these two screws go in the outside edge. Then the cover goes on. I'll get that on and then we'll be right back. All right, that's it. That's the transmission rebuilt with the new motor plate, the new motor and everything on it. Came out really nice. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, I got all the fresh uh, Fast Eddie bearings in. And the motor plate is synced up real nice. Of course, that uh, that cover does look a, it does look a little nerdy, but you know what? Considering what it's got to do, it'll be fine. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you got any comments or something that I did wrong, by all means, let me know. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck on the trails.